Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my Anastasia Billy Hill Stick Foundation Review and Try On. So as you guys know, in my last video, my ABH haul, I did mention that I purchased a stick foundation in the shade Coca. And the foundation stick, I will say, is not my shade at all. Um, it is a little too red for me. Okay, so in my last video, I did mention that I would go back and purchase the other three shades in the deep category but I'm not going to do that simply because none of the descriptions of the shade match me so yeah um, most of the shades have like a red undertone and though it may look like I'm a red undertone I'm not a red undertone I'm a cool undertone um not quite sure if it's like all of the yellow this, this color the shade because I'm not very educated on undertones so yeah I'm just doing research right now and I really I'm really thinking that the new foundation shades that ABH is planning on to launch next month will have a foundation shade for me so hopefully you know I find a shade that's perfect for me so yeah um, with Coca like I said it's a little too red and I will try it on for you guys okay so when I first got the foundation stick I did try it on I wore it twice so the first time I wore it I had an interview and my first impression was wow oh my gosh it made me look so freaking flawless like I would like you couldn't see it's a full coverage foundation and you couldn't see not not pour anything but I did use a primer and the primer I used was the Dr. Brent pore medic primer so this is the primer I used and I don't know if like it was because of the primer um, what not a reason why I looked like that but it looks so good um, the second time I used it I had a second interview and yeah I, I just came home from work and ran and just put on this foundation and the second time I wore I will say that it didn't do so great but I, I have been at work for nine hours at work sweating um, we didn't have air that day so yeah I was at work sweating all, all morning and um, yeah so I didn't put on a primer either the second time I wore this so yeah and it didn't do so great um, it just didn't look it didn't give me the results that I got the first time around wearing it so yeah um, but I always wear primers with foundation anyway so I don't think that that would be a problem again moving forward so like I said this is the primer I use but I think any like silicone based primer will be okay like if you have any you don't have to go out and buy the primer that I use like any of these primers will be fine this is the MAC matte this is Tarte pores no more and the Maybelline baby skin so yeah I think any like silicone based primer will be fine to wear with that like I said my skin was freaking flawless so that's for the sake of this video that's exactly what I'm going to do is put on the pores pore medic primer before I apply my foundation so um, this is a primer that I rarely use like Every time like I don't film and I'm just like running out the house or something, I always use products that I rarely use just to test them out. But like I wouldn't like do a tutorial using something that I'm unfamiliar with. So going in with the foundation stick. And um, I do recommend you use Beauty Blenders to blend this foundation stick out. So as you can see, it definitely isn't my shade. It doesn't even match my neck. My face is darker than my chest. So yeah, it doesn't even match that. Okay, so yeah, as you guys can see, it doesn't even match my chest. So I don't know what I was thinking. Like I figured like, well, it is summer, so and you know you get darker than in summer. 
So I was just like, yeah, maybe this will fit me. It is super easy to blend out. Like my beauty blender, it was damp, but it is damp anymore. And it's still easy to blend this foundation. And yeah, my beauty blender is pretty much dry right now. So for my interview, I did go over with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NC55. This is my winter shade, so it's, it matches my chest and not my face. But um, it was the perfect combination mixing the red undertone in this together. So that's what I'm actually about to do. I just wanted to show you guys how it looked by itself. And um, once I mix this in, I will come back on here and talk to you guys more about the foundation and my opinion of it. So yeah. So yeah, as you can see, I'm starting to kind of match. <laughs> so yeah, that did cancel out a lot of that redness. Um, I don't believe that I set this foundation when I went on my interview. I just put on a little mascara and the lip gloss shade in Maple and went on about my day. So yeah, I can't really give you guys a full review until I don't have to mix it with other foundations. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm looking forward to the new the new shades that will be launching next month I believe so yeah I do believe that I'm going to be the shade cool golden I think that's what it's called so it's something along that way but I'm definitely not a red undertone and to match your um to get the perfect shade of the ABH foundation you have to know your undertones um you can't really just go off of a picture like I did um so yeah, but I do like the way it applies. I can't tell you guys about that. It goes on so freaking smooth and blend out so freaking well. I can say that I was oil free all day for about, I didn't remove my makeup till like 10 o'clock that night. And my interview was like four, at four o'clock. So I applied my makeup at three o'clock. So for seven hours, I was not oily at all. So that's always a plus, you guys don't know the struggle of having extremely oily skin so yeah I that's that's was one of the things that I liked about it um like I said I can't really say too much but it did it stayed on all day pretty well I didn't set it like I said and I just put on a little bronzer and some mascara and lip gloss and put on about my day and I did like the look of the foundation the feel of the foundation so yeah it definitely gets a thumbs up from me um so what I didn't mention is well I didn't even look inside but it is like a, a piece of paper inside of here I guess I can show you guys what that is mm -hmm. oh okay it actually shows you guys how to apply it so yeah um if you guys were to buy like three foundation sticks like your shade of course and then one to highlight and one to control with it actually shows you guys how to so yeah that's pretty cool that they included that um yeah just basically how to highlight and contour your face what they're using their foundation sticks that's it for this review and try on you guys hope you really enjoyed it hope you um this was very informative to some of you guys so yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you for watching